Hello, this is Ellie Hammond, clinical exercise physiologist with Ohio Health Cardiac Rehabilitation. And today we're going to be talking about some different cardiac procedures, which is part three of our anatomy and physiology series. If you have a blockage in your coronary arteries, it might be necessary to have a procedure done to reestablish that blood flow to the heart. A heart cath can be done to locate areas in the heart where a blockage is present. During an angiogram, a thin flexible tube is fed through an artery or vein via an incision in either your groin or your arm usually. Dye is injected into the arteries and x-ray images of your arteries can reveal any occlusions of blood flow in the heart. Treatment can actually be done during this procedure to reopen a coronary artery. This is called a percutaneous coronary intervention or a PCI. It's also commonly referred to as angioplasty. This process involves the insertion of a smaller balloon catheter into that flexible catheter, which can inflate at the narrowed area and reopen that vessel, reestablishing that blood flow. Commonly, angioplasty is also done with the addition of a stent placement. So a stent is a small metal tube that is wrapped around the balloon and is left in the artery when that catheter is extracted. These stents can be coated with a medication that will help prevent the body from rejecting that stent as it is a foreign object. Um, and this will prevent it from forming scar tissue. Sometimes blockages are too severe or just too calcified to be treated with a stent. In these cases, a more invasive procedure called a coronary artery bypass graft, you'll commonly hear it referred to as a cabbage. This may be done um, instead of a stent. So during a cabbage, a healthy artery or vein from somewhere else in the body, usually the arm or the leg, is harvested and the blood flow is rerouted around that blockage. It's important to remember that these procedures, both stents and bypasses, um, are not a cure for coronary artery disease. They are a treatment for the acute problem, but coronary artery disease is still present. Without lifestyle changes or intervention, it's very likely that these areas will become reoccluded or that other coronary arteries may need intervention in the future. So our goal with cardiac rehab is to help manage those risk factors and prevent the need for future inter interventions or having a future heart attack. And that concludes part three of our anatomy and physiology. Thank you.